All right, welcome traders. My name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrainversity. I'm here to kind of talk a little bit about the NASDAQ book viewer. Uh, you've probably seen me on the NASDAQ uh, news show, and I was talking a lot about NASDAQ total view and what a very, very important tool it is. Or you maybe have seen some other videos, have some popular videos on YouTube that get into great detail about it. But, um, but I found that I'm getting a big request that people ask me, could you do something a little bit basic? Maybe tell me how to find it, where to go on the website and actually how to set it up. So I want to just take about two, three minutes, just kind of show you how to set it up, and I'm going to have other videos that you could actually watch, and we'll go into more detail, the strategy behind it. So let me just go right to the website, and basically the website address is data.nasdaq.com. That's the actual website where you're going to get the NASDAQ total book, uh, the, the total view. Now, you can get this through a brokerage firm, but um, they might tell you about, Oh, we offer level two. Now, this is this is something beyond level two. This gives you 20 times more data than 22. 20, level two has basically been outdated personally for the last, I don't know, since it came out in the 90s. Uh, that's why it's free. But um, but this is a total difference. This is, where you, this is where you see all the high frequency trades, all the institutions. Just basically, you get more data. You get to see more orders. Now, what you get, what you do on this website is you got, obviously got to register. And then once you register on the left hand side, you see where it says book viewer, you're going to click over there and then you're going to notice this is where you're going to be buying the product. And there's two different ways you could buy it. It's a non-pro or a pro. If you are a broker or an institution and you could look bit more, you got, obviously got to pay a pro version. If you're just an individual, you could do the non-pro. It's $15 a month and just click subscribe. Now I'm already subscribed. I'm going to log into my account. And um, and what's going to happen when you launch it? It's it's uh, once you launch it, it's a Java based, and then this window is going to come up. You're going to have this little floating window right here. So let me just minimize this, and there we go. So now you got this little window right here. Now you'll notice the problem that you have is there's a lot of windows, okay? And you don't need all this data. You don't need to see market value. You don't need to see total. You don't need to see you know all these uh, different orders and everything else. You want a clean way of looking at it. So um, there's two ways of viewing it. There's aggregated and non-aggregated. We're going to aggregate the orders because I don't care about seeing all these different price levels and all these different people at every price. I just want to see what we're going to look for, which you're going to learn from the other videos. You're going to be looking for something that's called iceberg orders, okay, which are big block orders. Now, you click over here where it says select column. And what we want to keep here is um, we want to keep, I'm going to X out of all of them. And I'm going to keep bid. Okay, I'm going to keep orders and I'm going to keep shares. Okay, that's basically all you need. Um, you need orders, bid, you know, and then on the, on the ass side, you need sellers, orders, and that's it. So I'm going to click apply. And then you'll notice now that you're getting a very clean way of looking at it. Now you're getting to see, you know, um, all the orders, you're getting to see the, what price they want to buy it for, how many orders are out there at that price and how many shares are in total when you equal up those two different orders. Now, if I unaggregate that order, you'll see that um, I'm going to pause this, actually, which is pretty cool. You could do this also with the total view. You could pause it, and then you could see that those two orders that I aggregated, there was one guy for 800, another guy for 500. Um, actually, there was one order for 13,000 looking to be bought at 30, 39.61 and so on. So, um, and then you can see over here on the ask, you got one, two, three, four orders looking to be people looking to buy it at 130, looking to sell it, I'm sorry, at 139.75. So when you click over here, when you ag aggregate it, now you can see it's nice, clean, and everything. Now, the power of what we're going to be talking about uh, on the total view is that, you know, now that you see how to buy it and how to set it up and how to lay it out, on the other videos, I'm going to show you exactly how to utilize the platform and how it will help you to see where all the big orders are. Like, for example, just a quick little teaser. You're looking over here on AMD. What makes stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. Boom. You can see there's a 13,000 share buyer right here at 39.61. I think that's a pretty predominant buyer. I'll take him more seriously than the guy that's looking to buy 30 shares. And on the sell side, you know, listen. I'm not discouraging or not, you know, taking a hundred share seller, 
But when I see a 12,000 share sell and I see 17 different people selling it, I think that would be more what's called a resistance level. So that's the power of it. And this is the difference between level one, level two, level three, or total view, in other words. You can't see all the orders. So um, if you want to watch and see more videos like this, just click on the bottom. Just subscribe to Cyber Trade University. Just click on the bottom. And then from there, when you look at that, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be able to see other videos that I have that will tell you how to use this towards a strategy on your everyday trading. So if you like it, please like. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.